Hello there, Shelley. Great to see you pushing forward and uh, continuing improving your work. So that is absolutely fantastic. Let's have a look. The issue of whether the job hopping, no, whether job hopping, okay, we don't need the. The issue of whether job hopping should be encouraged or discouraged has been extensively discussed during the last decades of the 21st century. This essay will discuss both views, so let's give my own opinions. Right, so that is an empty sentence, okay? I can use that in an essay about climate change. Uh, to avoid empty sentences, we've got to make it unique, specific to this topic. This essay will discuss both views using examples from the United Nations and um, uh, the idea of loyalty, I guess, to demonstrate points and prove arguments, you see? And now I just made that sentence unique to this topic and to this essay. And that's what examiners want to see. On the one hand, usually it is quite difficult for young people who just graduated from universities to find an ideal job position immediately without work-related experience. Wow. Topic specific vocabulary, fantastic. Um, grammatically perfect, great start, Shelley. Therefore, having achieved enough occupational work related experiences, lots of individuals would like to change to the to other companies with highly qualified positions and job security. Good. In addition, some young people like to pursue their own interests, being quite ambitious to change their jobs and companies to satisfy themselves. Good. By doing this, some individuals really get great job satisfaction and job security. Now, this is what I enjoy doing, Shelley. I'm not correcting, I'm improving. So, what could we say instead of this? By by actively managing their personal career, yeah? Um, and I'm not only replacing this, but I'm also replacing doing. Now, do, be, good, bad, big, small are some of the first words we learn when we start learning any language, especially English. And so we don't want to use these first words. We want to be using more advanced vocabulary, okay? So just using a phrase like I said, by actively managing one's own career or by actively managing um, their career, some individuals, and again, really get great. So great is a superlative of, of good. You know, it's not, sorry, uh, it's not a superlative, but it's among some of those early words, okay? So how could we improve it? Maybe pause the video, think of ways to improve it. Uh, what I'm going to share is uh, something like some individuals really feel accomplished, okay? I mean, we got it here. We just needed to enrich it a little bit, really feel a sense of... Um, superior job satisfaction and job security. According to research carried out by the United Nations, 70% of employees can gain their job well-being through changing their jobs. Beautiful, wonderful work there. On the other hand, frequently job hop hopping is actually unreasonable for a job promotion. Hedge the sentence is or can actually be considered unreasonable for a job promotion. A person with multiple company experiences on his CV is considered to be disloyal and unreliable. Okay, um, so just put some context in there and also hedge it. A person with multiple comp with experiences in multiple companies, okay, uh, can be considered disloyal and unreliable. In this case, employers would hesitate to offer an important an important job to him in case of uh, in case. Uh, in case of them leaving. So instead of assuming it's a male, what we can do is just use the plural and say they, the reader, in this case the examiner, will know that we're just talking about somebody and it's not a grammar error. Okay, so in this in in case, employers would hesitate to offer an important role, an important job to them or to to these candidates or to this candidate in case uh in case they left okay 
or in case of them leaving. Moreover, employers would prefer to promote positions. Again, we're using a lot of sweeping generalizations here. So we should say, moreover, employers would most likely prefer to promote um, older employees rather than new employees because older employees, repetition, and old and new, you know, old employees, what could we say instead of experienced employees, veterans, industry veterans, I often firmly trusted with their loyalties and sound knowledge um, of their positions in the company. Okay, so we started off really strong with lots of great vocabulary, but in this next one, we've got a lot of repetition um, and kind of more basic vocabulary. And I see this a lot, you know, I see this a lot. It can be quite tiring <laughs> to get the second paragraph out. Uh, so you might just want to be aware of the quality slipping a little bit in your second body paragraph, you know, or even just brainstorm it before, brainstorm the vocabulary you want so that when you do come to write, uh, when you do get to writing your third paragraph or your second body paragraph, you still have some juice. You still got some phrases left. Okay. Um, thus staying in one company for a long time is usually beneficial for a job promotion. In conclusion, if a person can get a job with great job security and satisfaction, staying in that position will contribute to their career improvement. To get an ideal job position, some people have to experience one or two times. Okay. Have to experience one or two job, uh, one or two companies. Okay or have to job hop at least once or twice. But I strongly disagree, the frequently, um, but I strongly disagree, comma, frequently job hopping would make you suffer from disloyalty. Okay, would, could make you a victim, uh, or could make you look disloyal and unreliable. Okay, so great work, solid arguments, solid content, okay crystal clear arguments so i can't fault you there that's really uh, that's really good just try and pay attention to some of the vocabulary and some of the structures of the sentences okay dear wensi okay english homestead dear wensi comma uh, you might want to just improve your spacing here okay there we go there that's what we want to do Dear Wensi, hope this letter finds you well. Great start. Um, I'm writing to get some information about family hosting. My name is Shelley. I'm studying in Rayson University in Toronto now. My native language is Chinese and I'm trying my best to improve my English ability. Good. Now I, now I am so excited to join the English Hosted Program. Okay, maybe a different paragraph here, you know? Um, so let's see. Um, you don't need, I'm so excited. Oh, oh how could we? Uh, okay. Um, by the way, yeah, by the way, I'm, I, I should tell you, comma, I'm so excited to join the English and Homestay program. I'm so happy I will visit the, visit the UK for this English learning program next month. I received a notification telling me that I will be staying at your home for one month. Okay. Um, it is fantastic to have a chance to get to know you. I have some questions to I have some questions to ask. Um, comma, okay. Let's just make it a little bit. We've got short sentences are fine, long sentences are fine, uh, but we don't want to overuse either of them. It, okay. So I have some questions to ask. I've never gone to the UK, the UK before. So could you please give me some information about the weather there? Okay, here's a perfect opportunity to use a demonstrative. We just mentioned UK, so therefore it's crystal clear that that's the country we're talking about. Then I can prepare my luggage. Good. I also want to know some, uh, I also want to know some, uh, I also want to know about some famous attractions. I could visit, then I can make my schedule. Good. Lastly, I will be living in your home for one month, so what should I prepare about my items, such as bed sheets, cover, and so on? Good. I've bought the airplane ticket on the 10th of July. So that's when you bought the ticket? 
or is that when you're flying okay I bought the airplane ticket and I'm due to fly on the 10th of July the airplane will land in, in the UK at 3 p.m. Um, the following day comma 11th of July I think I can get to your home at 7 p.m. I look forward to seeing you and your family soon um, yours, yours sincerely or even better um, all the best but slightly more informal Shelley super okay Shelley you know what to do implement all the corrections that you've heard update your error list and send me the list of mistakes send me the corrected essays and then send me your two new essays to the questions that I've sent in this uh, reply okay you're doing super let's keep moving forward and have a super day